Hello and good morning. In this video, I, I want to cover a quote from Michael Knowles, the personal policy, the personal L is policy. 99% of people, 99% of people who work for Google hate white men. 99% of people who work for Google hate white men. So I decided, I need to look at the diversity report um, to find out who these people are that hate white men. Okay, the workforce of, of, of Google globally, okay, identifies as women in the US and, and ethnicity. Um, the, the workforce is 56% white, 39% Asian, 6% Latinos, and 4% Blacks, and 0.5% Native Americans. So it's 99% of the workforce that works for Google hate white men. Now, four, only 4% 4 are Blacks, only 4% are Blacks, okay? I can understand if 70% were Blacks, and it says 99% hate white men, you think, oh, it's obviously, it's the Blacks that are hating white men. But you know something? Only 4% are blacks. So who are the ones who are hating white men? And, and who is race baiting? Who is race baiting? Because if you look carefully at this social division, trans they call oppression white male supremacy homosexuals use that term white male heterosexual supremacy and feminists want to hardcore feminists advocate killing all men one woman even says the white man is an oppression and they don't understand what it's like to be oppressed so we don't know who who are the ones who are hating white males because because in in julius caesar julius caesar is this a dagger in my side the the white man is being stabbed by white women, by trans, by everybody. Is this a dagger in my side? His own wife is stabbing him in the side. So his enemies are coming from all over his enemies. But the media try to pretend it's black people that got in for the white man. Is that the media try to pretend, you know, always race baiting. The white man's enemy is not black people. We ourselves are going through severe challenges and depression. We are not sitting at the table of privilege that we can execute power and judgment. So you, as I said, only 4.4% of the workforce of Google are black. That's not enough power to generate 99% of Google workforce hate white men. Somebody is race baiting. Somebody wants a race war. Somebody wants to keep racism and racial fear mm. at the top of social consciousness and awareness. Somebody don't want nothing to change. Somebody want racial division. Why? Why would you go out your way and release a dodgy survey, you know, a dodgy report that 99% of the workforce hate white men? Something does not add up. You know, 56% of the workforce are white. How many that are, are white women? How many? 39% are Asians. So really, 
you can safely say, you can safely argue that there's no way that the culprit are black people. We're busy killing each other. We're busy stabbing the hell out of each other. So there's no way that it's us that doing the hating. We're hating ourselves. Why would such a report then be covered? Why? What's the motive? Michael Michael Knowles has blasted Google for they woke, for they woke after the tech giant was forced to remove the, the Gemini development. So he's saying woke. When has woke, when has woke ever benefited black people? When has cancel culture ever benefited black black people? Who has, who has it benefited? This council culture and walk culture. Who has it benefited and who has the real power? Yes, somehow, Michael Knowles tried to pretend 99% of the workforce hate white men. Only 4% are blacks. Only 4%. And have, have, have the 4%, how many are black gays? How many are black trans? The rest, 56% are whites. And the rest, 30 odd percent, are Asians. See, somebody's telling you, it tells you that they're race baiting. They really want to leave the trans alone, the, the homosexuals alone, and pretend it's blacks that's doing the hating. 4%? And they said 99. They're trying, they're trying to create a pandemic. 99%? Woo! creating a pandemic of numbers. And when you break it down, you begin to realize it's nothing more than race baiting. Race baiting. If you, if you want to promote your product, just race bait. Just see it all over YouTube. Karen strikes again. Karen gets her ass whooped. Racist Karen. And when you look at these videos, these white women weren't even racist. Race baiting is guaranteed to make you money. Race baiting is guaranteed to push your products to number one. Why can't we just let it go? Why? 99% hate white men. I don't hate white men. I hate injustice. How could I hate, how could I hate white men? And I come across some beautiful white men in my life. Beautiful white men. Make like opal fruit, make your mouth water. I'm gonna hate them. How can I hate black people when I've come across some beautiful black people making my water like opal fruit? No, you you hate injustice and you hate you hate wrong. But this survey, this was race baiting. Ah, over, out, short, and sweet.